Deborah was a prophet and leader of Israel. She would sit under Deborah's palm tree where the Israelites would come and ask her to settle their legal cases. One day, Deborah sent word to General Barrack to come and talk to her. When he arrived, she said, I have a message for you from the Lord God of Israel. Gather an army of 10,000 men and lead them to Mount Tabor. The Lord will trick Sesera into fighting you at the Kishon River below. They will have 900 chariots, but you, General, will defeat them. Barak told her, I'm not going unless you go. All right, I'll go, but I'm warning you that the Lord is going to let a woman defeat Sesera and no one will honor you for winning the battle. At this time, a man named Heber and his wife, J.L., were living in tents nearby. Sesera had 900 chariots and a large army. When he learned that Berek was at Mount Tabor, he moved his army to the Kishon River below. Deborah first prayed to the Lord God Almighty for success, then shouted, Berek, it's time to attack Sesera. Today the Lord is going to help you defeat him. Berek led his 10,000 men down from Mount Tabor. When Sesera and his army saw Berek and his army running down the hill, they were afraid. Sesera and his chariots tried to escape, but the army was washed away in the Kishon River. Only Sesera escaped. He ran to the tent of Jael, Heber's wife. Jael invited him into the tent. Sesera lay down in the tent exhausted. Jael covered him with a blanket and gave him some milk. Sesera fell asleep. And then Jael took a hammer and drove a tent peg through his head and into the ground. Sesera was dead. Meanwhile, Barak was searching for Sesera. When he arrived at Jael's tent, he found Sesera dead inside on the floor. That day, the Lord used Deborah and Jael to help the Israelites defeat the Canaanites, just as Deborah had prophesied. <laughs>